Zach Zachariah, the ghostwriter. Before I sleep, I want to upload this video. Speedy serenga tlawe la lo kana la rogola la ntlhago. And those who don't understand my language. As when a parent is complaining or regretting or feeling sorry for raising a child who will tomorrow be the enemy who will tomorrow be the one that will end up hating them the most some words they get lost in translation that's why our mother tongue it is so deep and rich when we speak it but when we have to translate certain words to english you know they become a bit difficult but those who will understand will just understand when you look at this old man he is clearly showing everyone that guys i'm struggling i don't know what to do here i need you guys to help me he is looking on the sides but look at this shamua holding an ice cream it's just stupid holding an ice cream he find that entertaining and you see the other shamua there at the bed with the girlfriend he is even pointing to the old man like look at him right there he raised you he fought for your freedom you are today at the mall because of the sacrifices that he made for you and Tomorrow, there is something which is not going well in your life. And you are forgetting that the old man is the one who must... We see people crying when they were older. They start searching for you know, their relatives to help them with the ceremonies. These are the guys who knows about you know, this ancestral ceremonies and African spirituality kind of stuff. But anyway, we cannot even go deep into religious and everything. But the way we are raised is that you have to respect the elders. And, and, and that saying, they don't just say that because of they know that elders can do certain things that you cannot do. And, and, and the noise that people are making like they are all watching the old man. He fell there and he, he can end up breaking his leg or his arm while people are watching him. You want to come and complain about stuff that other race are doing to us if we are doing that to our elders? You want to complain that you don't get opportunities compared to other people? Why you cannot give respect and love to the elders, people who fought for your freedom? On the 20th, I wanted to go to Robben Island. I will share some videos with you. And when I arrived there because of the floods in Cape Town, you know, they canceled the trip. We couldn't go to Robben Island, you know. I was hurt. Because I... I have this understanding that the only names which are written there, oof, how can I put it? They wrote who they wanted to write. They told us about you know, the names that they wanted to tell us about, but actually that's deeper than that. That was like the solitary confinement. That was a place whereby they separated our great great grandfathers with their families to go and stay there. And there are so many people who died on their way to Robben Island. But the only writing that number, I can... And there were others who felt that kind of punishment while they were still with their families. So you see, an old man struggling because of he never had a chance to study these kind of things which are happening right now technologies and going to the malls and, and it's, it's it's evident that the old man doesn't go to the mall often and do the shopping now you can ask yourself who is doing the shopping to the old man that means the old man has 
you know, a grandchild or a child who always go to the mall and buy stuff for the old man. He did what he had to do. Now, this is disappointing because of all these people who are making noise, who are whistling. These are all black people, our African brothers and sisters. It's just disappointing.